hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to be showing you guys how to get a better frame rate even if you have a really bad pc so currently i am in a private server there is no one in this server so this is my private server um, so yeah uh, i am inside my private server and as you guys can see i am hitting a rough average of 70 to 60 frames per second if i look at the wall i get a good 70 frames per second but uh, it's not really accurate since uh, when I press shift plus F5 you can see all of these random numbers I mean not random numbers the the frames but uh, these numbers just flick so fast and they take up quite some frames they reduce about 10 to 15 frame rates so uh, that is a big downside but still I get about 60 to 50 frames per second which is totally playable on a device like mine so I have a 60 frame monitor so you can use this and now I just wanted to tell you guys that if you are getting about 100 plus frames per second and you're still like uh, uh, if you are getting about 200 or 300 frames per second but you're still feeling really laggy and it's hard to hit headshots and stuff like that then I would recommend going to your settings or just uh, going to your monitors uh, settings option if there is a settings option in your monitor then you can go into that and just check what uh, refresh rate you have and then you can just cap your refresh rate at that same point so it'll be a lot smoother so that's it for the disclaimer now let's get right into the video so to do this uh, to get these frames per second what you have to do is first up you have to join any game on roblox now by any game on roblox i mean uh the what do you call that i want you guys to join roblox from the uh google chrome or whatever browser you're using so you just have to download roblox and you can just play it in and after you've joined one game, say any game, uh, make sure it doesn't have a lot of moving parts or uh, doesn't have a lot of player and stuff like that so you get the most accurate uh, frames per second. So what you want to do is you just want to uh, open the game. So currently I am in the uh, Roblox Arsenal. So now what you want to do is press Windows plus the D key which would take you to your home screen this is the home screen now it shouldn't look like this when you're using it so let me just go back to the normal resolution that you should look like so this is how your desktop should look like so right click on the desktop click refresh if you want and then uh, after you've refreshed it then just go down to the graphics options then go to the resolution uh, tab and then just click on the 720p resolution so now this should uh, look like this and I don't mind these uh, icons uh, I just have pinned them there so they look a bit weird so this is how your 720p screen should look like and I still get about 60 frames per second 60 or 70 frames per second but this is a least like uh, this is a least uh, efficient uh, place so like if I go into there uh, and some of the other maps which are like really uh, demanding they drop to about 40 to 30 frames per second and everything is like really small so it's kind of hard to see all the UI and all of the text and like stuff so it's kind of uh, enlarged like if I do this you can see obviously that everything is just shrunken so now what you want to do is go again to your desktop click on graphics option and when you're inside this 720p screen then you have to go into the 600p so what you want to what you do not want to do is when you're in your 1080p di uh, display which is your normal display for any monitor and uh, you have to go to the 720p so first up you have to be on the 1080p screen then you have to go to 720p then you have to go to 600 pixel which is at the top is right there so uh, that will kind of make your screen a bit uh, enlarged you can say so there's no black bars so uh, now if you hop inside of the game you get about 60 frames per second on average so like 
but sometimes I also get about 100 frames per second you can see uh, if you look closely on the FPS counter now I get about 70 frames per second or something like that so this also does help it but if you are just asking that if you just uh, go directly from the 1080p screen to the 600p screen then what will happen is that your screen will get kind of shrunken and there will be black bars on both of these sides so I'm pretty sure you can't see the black bars in the side of the screen because I'm using a screen recorder which only records the screen not the black bars and my mouse cursor cannot move out of the black bars as you guys can see so uh, in here it also gives about the same result but it's like 60 frames per second but we are here we were getting about 80 to 100 of, uh, 80 to 70 frames per second but now we are only getting an average of 60 frames per second so this is also kind of bad since it just rings it all and it does look kind of like a, a 1080p screen so uh, the pixels are just shrunk in uh, shrunken into a small amount of area so that does create some lag and using the 720p and then going to the 600 pixel screen will be your best since it also feels a lot more smoother and I am also currently recording so if I just turn off my recorder and just close out of everything then I will probably get about 240 frames per second and if you have a better PC you might even reach a thousand frames per second so yeah uh, uh, there's also another friend of mine who is a subscriber so uh, his channel is it's me he has commented in a lot of my videos and he has shown a lot of support for my videos so uh, it's me if you are seeing this video then uh, you can just also make another video trying this trick and you can just showcase it so uh, you know we also have some proof to back up so yeah thank guys for watching see you in the next video yeah, bye.